Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Capricorns for the week starting October 31st, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at gigitarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. And thank you for those who subscribed already. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you guys for all of your likes, your comments, your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. You can also book me for a private reading on my Facebook page as well. The information below the video. And now my beautiful Capricorns, on to your reading. I want you to know that um, before recording your reading, I meditate and ask Spirit for guidance, and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have for you this week, my Capricorns, in the past position. We have the star. Yes. I mean, you have positive energy all around you, no kidding. The star is a major arcana, and so the energy is going to stay with you through the week. There's definitely a lot of energy uh, around you. Right now, Mars is in your house. You're very powerful. Mars is exalted in Capricorn, and it's actually in Capricorn. Not only that, Pluto is also in Capricorn and will be in Capricorn for a long time. Pluto is a slow transit, but Mars hasn't been in Capricorn, I think, for two years, so the energy is very positive. Especially that the sun is in your 11th house. It's in Scorpio. So there's a lot of, you know, good partnership around you, networking-wise. Friends, group circle seems to be beneficial. You seem to be in a, a place where, you know, people uh, could appreciate your, your presence. Where you feel it as well, you know. And Mars and Pluto conjunct in our sun is, is powerful, okay. Especially, like I said, Pluto's a slow... Uh, transit I don't want to say a number of years I think it's over 15 don't quote me on this but it's a it's a long long transit Pluto or 22 years something like that okay uh, maybe not 22 years I would say 18 something like that under 18 or but any event you have those power this power authority in your house so you're shining the Sun is also trining uh, for you because the Sun is for the Sun you're in the third house of the Sun so the Sun is in Scorpio Scorpio you have a lot of Scorpio in your circle it's, the 11 house is a house of network group circles another powerful house it's also the house of profits okay uh, gains just beneficial gains so it's a great energy for you my Capricorns all around winning and you're getting a lot of rewards um, right now for just being, um, you know, who you are. And the people are benefit, benefiting from uh, your, your, your presence and the people that you value, those that are very important to you. And let's see what we have in the position of the present this week. We have the Eight of Rods. So yes, changes coming. It will be you to choose which area. It could be in love. I mean, there's a preparation because remember, after all this great positive energy with the sun in the 11th house right now in Scorpio, the sun's going to go to sleep in the 12th house when it's going to be in Sagittarius, which is a period of release. Okay? But we all go through this period. It's all, always before our birthday. So right now as the 11 houses, yes, friendship, group, network, circle, profits, gains, it's fun. And also it could be love. So enjoy it, okay? But because uh, Capricorn are so like, uh, they're all about planning ahead. They know, they know that they're getting older. You know, uh, they learned a lesson. There's another, you know, like the holidays and, they're already getting their mind into work. 
But in any event, the Eight of Rod is to let you know there will be a quick pace of energy. And this is because you're benefiting from uh, your network, your circle, your many angles, many areas of your life. So enjoy it. Uh, it's a gift. And with that, you could also, because of you, the star attracting this energy, you could also bring a lover. Uh, you know, the, those, this could be, you know, a target that you have set for yourself. Now you're just closing in. Mars is in, um, is in your house, is in Capricorn. So definitely, while it's there, you're going to use all the energy of Mars to, to manifest something that you want because now you have the energy everything going towards your direction see it's worth being patient because you're attracting exactly this towards you and whatever whether air whether it's in love whether it's in uh how you know in your health maybe you want to have a better routine you want to change the way you eat you want to change the way you care for yourself whatever it will be coming to you very quickly uh, before Mars leave to for Aquarius and I think it's leaving the 8th of November something like that you have this weekend especially the new moon to help you with that and you I think you're gonna get help from your your group your friends your network and let's see what we have in the position of the outcome for you my Capricorns we have the six of swords See, with that, you're crossing a bridge, you're entering the 12th house. See, you're already putting yourself into this position, but you will be entering this 12th house place. And the reason why you will feel it in terms of your vision is because Mars is going to leave. It's going to go in, um, uh, it's going to go in Aquarius. And with that, you know, soon the uh, your energy is going to change when the sun will also go in the 12th house. So you're crossing a bridge. The Six of Swords is about transition. So you're transitioning. So we went for all this, you know, this energy. But see, you still have a lot of time. But like I said, my Capricorn are so, they, you know, they like to plan ahead. You know, that's what the Saturn makes them do. It makes them to be, you know consistent and secure so they always have to be serious so now they're planning ahead they're crossing there's you know this phase now right now the 12th house they're already entering this this place where especially with saturn movement at the end of the year which will enter uh capricorn in 2017 i'm sorry uh, next year 2017 it's gonna be some time but you know, the 11 house, it's always the house where there's a lot of people, a lot of network. And then the 12 house is where there's less people. And I'm, I'm asking, maybe some of my Capricorn felt, it, felt this energy because Saturn is now in your 12 house. Maybe a year ago, you had a lot of people, maybe two, three years ago. Now, right now, your, your circle is just like, it's more wise because Saturn is processing this release in the 12 house. It's in Sagittarius. And there's a lot of bridge that's going to be crossed where you're, like I said, it's it's the last placement of the soul. So the last placement of activity where we go to rest is a cleansing phase. Okay, so some of you are preparing some area also, um, you know, will be also uh, clearly, you know, more isolated that you have been. Because you're entering the 12th house now, okay? For Well, you will be entering the 12th house once the sun uh, goes to Sagittarius, okay? But I'm going to end this reading here for you, my beautiful Capricorns. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next week, send you lots of kisses. I love you.